I was a functioning addict. I I worked all through it. I I bought a house. I had a truck, like brand new truck. I had the toys. I had everything. Like I was pretty successful. A lot of people that I worked with looked up to me because I was so young and so successful. I mean, I bought my house when I was 21. I was driving around a hundred thousand dollar truck. I, you know, I was doing really good and through all of it, I managed to keep everything fairly, um, in order, I guess. And everything just seemed normal. And if I was missing a payment, well, it was like, okay, well, I'll catch it up later. I'll catch it up later and just push things off until it just, I got into a point where I couldn't get out of it. When I was 10, I found my dad after he shot himself. I mean, I, and I dealt with a lot of other deaths in my family and it was, uh, yeah, the, I mean, I, I always swore up and down that just because I had a tough childhood or a life that that didn't mean I was going to do drugs and I was really against drugs for a long time besides <laughs> weed and drinking and uh, then as time progressed uh, like I didn't know what I was trying to fill I just wasn't comfortable with myself and when I did drugs, whether it was ecstasy or coke or whatever it was, I felt good about myself and I was just filling a void. And it wasn't really until recovery that I started realizing that there was things that I'd gone through and shit that I hadn't dealt with that I was trying to fill a void because I wasn't happy with myself. I was trying to use drugs as to make me happy. It started with perks and oxys and things like that, I guess, long before the heroin. It was, and that, that didn't seem bad because it was just perks and just, you know, it didn't, it didn't seem bad at all. So, I mean, that was, that was like when we were hung over, we'd get some, if we just wanted to hang out, we'd get some many quiet nights, we'd get perks or oxys and start there. And, and then, yeah, then when it progressed to heroin, it, it really took over. The Brent, uh, he came out here from Ontario and I remember him coming out to the, I was drilling on a rig and he came out roughneck and, and he was a shit show the first time I met him. He was still pretty drunk coming out and we just got along really well. I mean, we partied together and ended up living together and I just had a soft spot for him. I, we, uh, we became really close. And as time progressed, like we all got deeper and deeper into the drugs. And uh, the last time that he overdosed, AJ found him and it was, he was supposed to come hang out with us the night before. I seen him the night before and we were, we were partying at my house. Um, and I seen him drive by, I stopped him and he was like, yeah, I'm just going to grab some shit and I'll be back. And he didn't come back and in the morning AJ called me freaking out and he'd he'd went into his house and found him and it was it was devastating I flew out to Ontario to see his family and I talked to his mom and the last time I was in Ontario I promised her that I'd take care of him and yeah, the first thing she said to me when I got there, she was like, remember that promise you made me? And I just broke down and I was like, yeah. She, she was like, I, I never should have made you promise that. You couldn't have kept that no matter what. He did what he wanted to do. And I was, it was a load off, but I was still really broken. I, uh, I wore a lot of guilt for it because he was like my little brother. I, fuck, I loved him. I had a celebration of life for him and I said I wasn't going to drink and I wasn't going to party and the next morning I was still up 
and still there on coke and I was fucked up again and I said I, I just went to bed and I said I was done and that was the last time I ever drank and I mean I I've done heroin once since then I had a relapse and I just I haven't picked up since then it just broke me that was it Right now, my most important thing is recovery. I have to put my recovery first. It's uh, learning to have healthy relationships and boundaries and working on myself to be a better person in society.